did terrible things to a lot of people's holidays. It started the biggest getaway weekend since Brexit off to a really bad start. And that was the French um, entirely. But it wasn't because Emmanuel Macron had phoned them up and said, let's, let's, let's um, stuff it to them Brits. It was a mess up. And after that, I'm afraid, um, of course, things got worse. We had um, terrible queues at, uh, uh, at Dover. That moved to Folkestone. Um, but basically, the, the problem is that we decided we wanted a frontier just like the one that the EU has with Turkey or Russia, but we wanted to put it in Kent. And that's always going to present a challenge, I'm afraid. Henry Bolton, what do you disagree with? Well, uh, not a great deal, sadly, about that. I was hoping for a good sparring there, uh, Simon. But uh, anyway, good to see you. Look, um, Simon, you did write four days ago that actually most of this problem was caused by the French disastrously failing to staff all of their posts at Dover. And, of course, that's the, the, the crux of my point. It's not down to, yeah. to Brexit that there were queues. In fact, I mean, one, I've been saying from day one, from, in fact, before day one, before the referendum, if the referendum, if the people of this country voted to leave the European Union, there were going to be massive challenges that must be prepared for, must be planned for. And initially, that didn't happen. The Cameron government didn't do it. The May government didn't do it. And, in fact, Doug or created even more problems for us, perhaps. Um, and it's only been recently that those, those planning, plans and preparations have been put in place. But those included the development or the, the placement of additional controls, passport booths, immigration booths, at Dover for the French to cater for slightly enhanced or, or extra timing for stamping of passports and so on. That was all prepared for. But, of course, that, that's meaningless if the French themselves don't man those posts, as, as they didn't, and as, as you've, you've correctly pointed out four days ago, that they didn't. Now, the thing is then, there is... I've heard the argument, Simon, and I think it's come from you as well, correct me if I'm wrong, but that actually, you know, in a sense, that's our fault for leaving because now there's a, a different form of border between us and the French. It's not that much different because we weren't part of Schengen before and, and you'll know that there were passport checks, even if they were slightly and incorrectly slightly more cursory than now. But the thing is that there is a principle in border management that not only are you securing your, board, your own border, in this case the French securing their, the external border of the European Union, um, but you're also required, best practice, is to facilitate and expedite the movement of legitimate passengers and goods across the border. The French failed in that.